Hey you guys, this is Catherine, and I'm going to review how to make my super simple healthy pasta recipe. And I'm gonna really focus on the ingredients because most people already know how to make pasta. But the ingredients are key and marketers try to trick you. And I'm gonna even give you an example with these two different pastas, how they trick you. So you're gonna to wanna to be sure to watch this so you learn how to read the food labels so you can make the healthiest pasta pasta and right now a lot of us are stuck at home looking for variety looking for something simple we're preparing more food at home right now so we don't need something complicated we just need some simple healthy quick recipes all right so that's what this is going to be and there's only like five ingredients here so let's start with the pasta because that's the one where marketing companies really trick you the most in my opinion what we get is it's tolerant brand red lentil most pastas are either wheat gluten, wheat based, uh, corn based, quinoa, rice. They are grain based and grains will raise your insulin. Insulin is your fat storage hormone. If you've seen my weight loss series or, or my other videos. So you want to avoid grains if you're trying to balance your blood sugar and insulin. That's why I like the red lentil. The red lentil is a bean. Now it's still going to be a carb, but it's a much better alternative to grains. So red lentil, they also have green lentil and the brand is tolerant. I will have a link below to this on Amazon so you can see exactly what you're looking for because you're gonna see how easy it is to get tricked. You don't have to buy it on Amazon, but I'm just gonna do that so you can see it or buy it there, whatever. All right, so when you go to the ingredient label, you're gonna see red lentil flour. Now, anytime it's flour, of course, it's not truly a whole food, but we're talking pasta here. We're talking something that's simple and healthy and quick we're not looking we, you know we're not looking for a whole bean thing right now we're just looking for something super simple and a healthier version of pasta the healthiest i would say all right so that's the lentils now here is the other one that can really trick you in fact i'll be honest the reason i have this is because i did did not read carefully and i brought it home and after i read the ingredients i was like are you kidding me they did it again so it says organic red lentils right but when you look at the ingredient label you're gonna see brown rice flour. It's like, why did they throw in brown rice flour? It's so unnecessary, it's probably cheaper. So just because it says organic red lentil, don't be fooled. Make sure you, you read that ingredient label and that all that's in it are red or green lentils. You don't want anything else added. And this makes a pretty good pasta. There's also chickpea pasta out there, but that's gonna be even higher carb and it also causes some people gas. Red lentils are gonna be a lot less gas producing because they're a smaller bean. The smaller the bean, the less gas producing it's going to be. So that's the, that's the biggest ingredient that's really tricky. Then the second one's going to be the marinara sauce. Now some of you might make your own homemade marinara sauce, good for you. I don't know how to do that, or I'm just not interested in doing that. It's not quick and it's not simple, all right? But a great alternative is Rayo's marinara sauce. This stuff has no sugar added, nothing added. It's delicious, it's Italian tomatoes. Uh, it, to the fact that it has no sugar added and it tastes really nice and sweet is amazing. I got this at Costco, uh, two of these for like 10.50, which is just a super score price because at Whole Foods it was like 10.50 per jar. So if you can get it at Costco, that's gonna be the best, or maybe another store around you will have it. I will have a link to Amazon below. Again, just to make sure that you have, you know, know exactly what you're looking for. I probably wouldn't buy this on Amazon unless it was a last resort because they're charged like 35 bucks for two jars, which is just crazy. All right, and then the last ingredients are gonna be vegetables. Now, this is of course a vegetarian uh, pasta. You can add meat if you want to. It's really going to be hard to digest if you add meat because you have this food combining issue. If you're familiar with my, I have my Foods That Heal book here, all proper food combining, and my 21 day cleanse program where I use all proper food combining to help maximize digestion. But if you decide you don't care about that and you want your meat, I would recommend ground turkey meat or you can get ground chicken, something like that, fry it up and use that. It's still homemade, it's still better than restaurant food. And then I like to add vegetables. We cut up a zucchini, some onion, not the whole thing, and some garlic, saute this in a pan, add your pasta sauce, and you don't need to even use oil to saute, just use a little bit of water. There's no reason to really add a bunch of oil to foods because think about this, oil's not a whole food. Olive oil is not a whole food, the olive, is a whole food. The olive oil, there's no olive oil tree, right? 
So the, the more you can just kind of keep the extra oils out and just get the natural fats in your diet, the better. And then once this is sauteed, I add the sauce, warm it up, and this is at that meantime boiling. And once that's ready, just put it all together. I mean, again, it, it's pretty simple. Most of us know how to make pasta, but shopping for the ingredients can be really tricky. So thanks for that, watching this video. I'd like to know what you think. If you want to post below if you try this or you've, if you have another really great uh, pasta that you like that's bean based and doesn't have anything else added or a great sauce or where you can even buy these because you guys are all over the country so I know that we have Costco and Whole Foods here and that's where we get a lot of our stuff but if you have a store near you that you find this stuff I think it'd be really helpful for everybody go ahead and comment that below all right thanks you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this